We've been using guinea pig fleece liners for several years, but is this the best bedding for our guinea pigs? I'm Monique from Guinea Piggles and we're going to look at some different options, starting today with pine bedding. We've enjoyed using fleece liners in our guinea pig cage because they provide a lovely soft surface for the guinea pig's delicate feet and they come in many different designs and colours, so they're fun to use and look great too. However, it's been a struggle to keep up with getting them washed and dried recently. I like to line dry all the fleeces rather than using the tumble dryer. But now we're approaching the colder and wetter months, it's going to become more difficult to turn them around quickly. We've decided to give pine bedding a go and see how our piggies get on with it. Make sure you watch to the end to get our final verdict on what we think of pine bedding. First, I'm going to put the guinea pigs in a separate pen to make the job a bit easier. I'm giving the cage a good clean before I put in the new bedding. I just use white vinegar for this because it's a natural product and cheap too. I'm using pillow wad pine shavings and I've bought a multi-pack of three which cost £20 for 10.8 kilograms. That's about $26. I'll put a link to where you can buy this brand in the description below. Pine bedding must be kiln dried and dust extracted. The kiln drying removes aromatic oils that are harmful to guinea pigs. I'm layering it quite thickly to make sure it doesn't get too soggy on the top. Our cage is 7.6 foot by 3 foot or 2 meters 32 by 91 centimeters and I've used a whole bag of pine bedding in this cage. That's 3.6 kilograms. I've decided to use our wooden houses and accessories because the shavings will stick to the fleece beds and hideys. I actually quite like this more natural organic look with all the wood. Now, let's see how the piggies like it. I did put some hay in the wooden houses later on, just to give them a little bit of added comfort.
I've been checking for damp areas each day and the only places where I had to clean were in the corners of their hideys. This is where they tend to pee and poop the most. I removed any damp areas and didn't add any more shavings but just pushed around what was there a little because it was quite thickly layered. The poops tended to get mixed in with the shavings rather than sitting on top as they do with fleece liners. After six days, this is how the cage looks. It could have lasted a full week, but I'm going to change it anyway today. With pine shavings, it is a bit messy to clean out and there's a lot of it, so I'm going to have to put it in a black sack for the rubbish because I don't have enough room in my composter. If I did have a bigger garden, I'd probably make a compost heap for it. So, what's the verdict? I usually change fleece liners every two to three days. It saved me about six lots of washing this week and I found the daily cleaning a lot easier. Another major improvement is the smell. Even washing fleece liners every two to three days, I find there is a certain amount of smell. With the pine bedding, there was virtually none. I also found the pine bedding tended to draw the urine to the bottom, so they weren't lying on wet shavings. It cost me about £7.77 for our huge cage for the week, which would work out at £2.64 for a Midwest habitat, or £3.75 for a 2x4 CNC cage for a whole week. I'm really happy with pine bedding, but I am going to try out some other bedding options which will hopefully help you decide what might be best for you too. Make sure you subscribe to find out what bedding we're going to be testing out next and click the bell to be notified when the new videos come out.